morning. Thank you for joining me for this morning's yoga practice. As always, I like to suggest that if you have one at home, grab one to your strap and your yogi block, which I'm sitting on right now. This will just help you support you in the pose, help deepen the stretch wherever you are in your practice. So if you will join me in a comfortable seated position at the center of your mat, you can slowly close your eyes. We're gonna take this time to check in with the body, mind, and the spirit. Breathing normally. We're gonna do a quick scan throughout the body. Starting from the top of the crown, working our way down to the toes with some grounding. Beginning at the crown, work your way down to the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the neck, the shoulders, down to the arms, to the elbows, to the wrists, to the fingertips, back up the arms, to the forearm, to the underarm, to the spine, the chest, belly, hips, thighs, hamstrings, knees, shins, calves, ankles, to the toes. Just noticing any tight spaces, any tension. Being mindful throughout your practice this morning to breathe, to allow that tension to be released and to be patient. Every day is a new day. And just as much as you feel it, so does your body. Taking this time to set an intention for your practice might have been one of the things that I just mentioned, to be mindful, to be patient, to be grateful. Whatever you feel you need to bring your attention to. Now focusing on the breath. Placing both palms on the belly. We're gonna take three deep breaths together, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Start by releasing all the air from the lungs. And take a nice deep breath in. Release. Connecting with the breath again, take a nice deep breath in. And release. One last time, nice deep breath in. And release. Releasing both palms, placing them on your knees. We're gonna bring our awareness to the neck. Bring your chin down towards your chest. Start to circle the head in a large circle towards your left, dropping it down and back. Inhaling once you reach your chest. Exhaling as you come towards the back. One 
one last cycle. And start to go in the opposite direction. Make sure to breathe. One last cycle. And bring your head down towards your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring your head back up to neutral position. You can open your eyes if you haven't already. And you're gonna turn your gaze and your chin towards the left as far as you can. Looking to your left side, keeping your back up straight. Exhale and look towards your right. Inhale, coming back to center. We're gonna come down to our shoulders. We're gonna inhale, rotate the shoulders up. Exhale, rotate the shoulders back. Two more times, nice deep breath in. Inhale, the shoulders up. Exhale, rotate those shoulders back. One last time. Inhale, rotate those shoulders up. And exhale, rotate those shoulders back. If you're sitting on a block like myself, you can move that out the way and to the side. Again, you may or may not need it. We're going to come on to all fours. Yes, our infamous cat cow. This time you're going to tuck your toes. Starting with a neutral position, I'm going to inhale, drop your belly, turn your gaze towards the side. Exhale. Pull that belly up towards the sky, tuck the chin. Inhale. Turn your gaze towards the sky, dropping the belly. Exhale. Pulling that belly up towards the sky, dropping the chin. One last side, inhale. Nice deep breath in, dropping my belly, and exhale. And release. You're going to open up your knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're going to bring the two big toes together as we slowly sink our hips back and down towards the heels. So that up like this, go back and down. And walking forward with both hands. Placing your forehead on the mat. Releasing your arms, hugging them around the legs. Taking a nice deep breath in. Allow the body to sink into the earth. Being mindful that this is a resting pose. So if you feel the knee, you can come right into this. Now bringing your hands back towards the front of your mat. Inhale, coming back onto all fours. Exhale, bring your knees in, about hip distance apart. Tuck the toes once again, and lift the knees off the mat. And on first downward dog, start to pedal the feet. Press into those fingertips. Nice deep breaths here. and slowly begin to walk forward to the top edge of your mat, <clears throat> keeping your legs about hip distance apart. We're gonna inhale, flat back, exhale, release. Slowly inhale and begin to rise. <clears throat> Bring your both palms together, hands down to heart center. And exhale. We're going to go into a nice little flow here to keep the body warm as we get into our morning practice. Exhale, releasing both arms. Inhale, swing back forward. Keep the knees, uh, feet, cut this apart. Have a slight bend on the legs if you need it in the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, sorry, <laughs> exhale, release. Planting both palms down. Stepping one foot back at a time. And exhale, come on down. 
We're going to inhale, lift up into upper dog. Exhale, push the hips back towards the sky. Inhale, lifting up with that right leg. Exhale, stepping forward into lunge. Take a nice deep breath here and step forward with the left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale and rise. Bring your both palms together, hands at heart center. We're waking up together this morning. Exhale, releasing both arms and swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Stepping back, one foot at a time. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, lift up to upper dog. Exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, lifting with the left leg. Exhale, step forward. Take a nice deep breath in and step forward with the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, begin to rise. Bring your both, both palms together. Exhale, release. And swan down forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. We're going to add something in here. You're going to inhale and raise both arms to reach the, to be next to your ears, bending the knees, sit your hips back into chair pose. Remember to tuck in the tailbone, engage the core. Exhale, fold forward. Stepping back one foot at a time. Exhale, come on down, turn up. Inhale, lift up. Now you can choose to do upper dog or cobra, wherever you are in your practice. Flip those feet over. Pushing up into upward dog, I'm sorry, downward dog. I'm gonna inhale, raising that right leg toward the sky. Exhale, stepping forward. Inhale, stepping forward with the left. This time, if you can, bring both feet together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, slowly begin to rise. Bring both palms together, hands at heart center. Exhale, release, swan down forward. We're gonna inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. And this time, we're gonna go right back into chair, sweeping those hands forward, bringing those arms towards the ears, sinking the hips down, bending at the knees. If you can, keep your feet together. If not, have your feet separate and use that block in between the thighs. Remember to tuck in the tailbone. If you got a little junk in your trunk, it's okay. It's gonna peek out a little bit. And exhale, sink forward to that forward fold. Stepping one foot back at a time. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, wherever you are. And push the hips up towards the sky, back to downward dog. Inhale, lift with that left leg. Exhale, stepping forward into lunge. Inhale, step forward to the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, slowly begin to rise. Both palms together, hands at heart center. And releasing both palms. You can come towards the center of your mat. As long as you're facing me, I'm just gonna turn towards you. We're gonna do a couple of standing poses here. We're gonna start by pressing your weight down into the left knee, left leg, both palms facing frontward into mountain pose. Slowly shift your weight towards that left foot. And slowly begin to raise that right leg up, bending the knee. You can maintain your balance. You 
you can keep the arms towards the sides, or you can start to bring your palms underneath that right thigh. Now you can start to bring that right knee in towards the chest, hug it into the body. As you feel it, open up those hips. Now slowly using your right hand, you're gonna bring that knee down and bring that foot towards the right butt up. And using your left arm to help balance you, you can bring that, right, that left arm straight towards the sky. Make sure to tuck your tailbone in so you don't wanna cheat yourself by punching in here. And then slowly releasing that leg. <clears throat> you're gonna do the same for the left side. So you're gonna start to slowly shift your weight over to your right foot. You can see me in the camera here. I'm slowly shifting over. And you're gonna inhale, start to bring that left leg up. Use your toes to help support you, grounding into that right foot. Once again, you can bring your palms underneath that left thigh. If you need that extra support. And then wherever you are, using both palms, bring that left knee in towards the chest. And then slowly using that left hand, bring that left foot towards the back. Reach it up with that right arm. And slowly release. We're gonna come back to the right side. This time we're gonna extend. You can reach out for your strap or belt, whatever you have at home to help you in this pose if you feel you need it. So we're gonna to go to the right side again. You're gonna to start to shift your weight into that left foot. We're gonna inhale and start to bring that right foot up towards the sky. Reach out for your strap and place that at the ball of the foot. Take a nice deep breath in and slowly exhale. Begin to extend that foot. I'm gonna to turn to the side for a better view. Now, if you are not here yet in your practice, that's okay. We can stay here. That's perfectly fine. Now, if you feel like you don't need the strap, you can, of course, let go of the strap, reaching for the big toe and holding here. Big toe with the right hand. Wherever you are, I'm gonna exhale, bending the knee, hold on to that toe, hold on to that strap. If you do have a strap, you can let it go. If you do have your big toe, you can let it go. And we're gonna to start to shift using that right hand, shift that hip out towards the right. Exhale, bringing that knee back to the front, switching hands, we're gonna use our left hand to hold on to that left knee. And we're gonna extend and turn our gaze towards the right side, extending with that right arm. If you feel you're a little busy, you can keep your gaze towards the front, but extend, I'm gonna turn to the side here. Extend with that right arm, a little twist here. So again, you can turn, you keep your gaze towards the front, or you can turn towards that right hand and then slowly begin to untwist, bringing that leg down. I'm gonna switch to the opposite side. Coming back to your strap if you need it. 
We're gonna shift our weight into that right foot. We're gonna inhale, bringing that left leg up towards the sky. Reaching for that strap. You're gonna put at the ball of your foot. This time I'm gonna demonstrate with just the big toe. If you're going for your big toe, you're gonna to use that left two fingers, wrap around that big toe, and slowly start to extend that left leg out forward. You can keep your hand on your hip, or you can extend towards the sky or reach out wherever you feel you are and need that stability and support. Holding here, two more breaths. And then slowly begin to bend that knee, releasing that big toe, using that left hand. We're gonna open up that hip towards the left side. Take a nice deep breath. I know I'm here with you. And slowly bring that knee back towards the front, switching palms, bringing that right palm towards that left knee. We're gonna slowly begin to twist, bringing, extending that left arm back and behind us. Again, you can keep your gaze towards the front. Wherever you are, you're Practice. Nice little twist here. And slowly begin to unwind, untwist, and let go. A little bit easier on the, the other side, hopefully. <laughs> you move your strap out of the way. We're going to come back to the top edge of our mat. And take a nice deep breath in, bring your both feet together if you can. Nice deep breath in, extend with both arms up, reaching towards the sky. And exhale, sinking forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Walking back with both feet, one at a time. We're going to exhale, come on down, Chaturanga. This time, we're going to come into Cobra. So flatten the feet, inhale, rotate the shoulders back, lifting up, and exhale, come on down. Tuck the toes in, push the hips back, into downward dog. You might feel a little different now. Maybe you can get your heels down a little bit more. Start the pedal one foot at a time, moving the hips with you. And then slowly bring you down both knees onto your mat. You might have to walk back a little bit like myself. Sink your hips back to that wide child pose. For one breath, inhale, come back to all fours. Crossing at the ankles, sit the hips back, and extend with both legs forward. Now you can go back to your strap, or if you don't need it, you don't need to grab it. So wherever you are, you can bring that strap to the balls of the feet. We're going to do an extended forward fold. I'm sorry, a seated forward fold. We're going to take a nice deep breath in, remove any extra flesh if you feel the need to, to help you really ground into the earth with those sit bones. Making sure your back is up nice and straight and tall. Take a nice deep breath in, and on the exhale, begin to walk forward with those palms, with those hands. If you start to extend past the strap, you can release it. Reaching for the soles of the feet. Taking three deep breaths here. With every exhale, try to sink a little bit deeper. Good 
One more breath. And release. I'm going to do a quick wide legged. So if you need to move to the center of your mat, I'm going to do a quick wide legged stretch here. Extend with both legs open wide. Take a nice deep breath in. Move any extra flush. And slowly begin to walk towards the right foot. If you're here at the shin, that's okay. Once you start to feel your spine start to curl and roll over, that is the point where you stop and you hold there and try to deepen that stretch as much as you can. Try to elongate the spine. Slowly release, walking the pant, pant sorry, the palms in the center of the legs, crossing over to the left foot. Take a nice deep breath in and slowly deep into the pose. And slowly release, coming to center. You can use a block here if you like to help support you. Slowly begin to extend. The block can be here to support your head. Extending both arms. We're here for two more breaths. So we begin to walk the hands back. If you are using a prop, you can remove that out the way. Bringing your hands behind you, bringing your legs together, coming back onto your mat. If you shift it as I did, we're gonna slowly come on to our backs. I really love to do this at the end where we have done it standing so you can feel the difference. I'm going to inhale, bringing the right knee in towards the chest. Using your right palm, you're going to drop that right knee to the right side. Allow gravity to pull it down, open up those hips, extend with the left arm. Now bring that knee back to center using your left hand. We're going to rotate and cross the body with that right leg for a nice twist here. Extend with that right arm, turning your gaze towards the right shoulder. Coming back to center, releasing that right leg. We're going to inhale, bringing that left knee in towards the chest. Make sure to take nice deep breaths here. Using that left palm, we're going to drop that left knee towards the left side. Allowing gravity to pull down, open up those hips. You're a little tight like me. It's okay. Extend with that right arm. Now bringing that left, left knee across the body for that spinal twist. Using that right hand, extend with the left arm. You might feel a little pop in the spine, that's okay, it's just realigning. Mm -hmm. 
You might really feel this in the outer hips. In the inner thigh. Now slowly bringing that knee back to center. We're going to bring the right knee in as well. Hug it into the body. Rocking from side to side, or you can stay here in stillness. We did a lot with our legs today. Wherever you are, come back to stillness. And slowly releasing both legs and arms, palms facing up. Take a nice deep breath, and on the exhale, melt into the earth, relaxing your shoulders, your hips, your legs. If you like to stay in a, in a longer shavasana, a longer corpse pose, you can choose to pause here. For those of you ready to move forward, start to bring awareness into the toes, into the fingertips. And with both arms extended above, above the head for a nice deep stretch. Shifting over to your right side. Support your head and neck into a fetal position. Planting your left palm onto your mat. Pressing your weight into that palm and coming up into a comfortable seated position, cross-legged, easy pose. Keeping your eyes closed, bringing your palms together. We're gonna end class with one breath. Before we do, bring your awareness to that intention we set, set at the beginning of class. Acknowledge how far you have come and how far you will go. Releasing all the air from the lungs. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in the nose and out the mouth. Nice deep breath in. And release. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this morning's practice. I appreciate your time and your effort and your presence. Namaste. Thank you.